Good day everyone out there in internet land. Welcome to Lockdown. It's Anthony from Moose Marine and I finally got all the bits in place to be able to make this little just demonstration. What I wanted to show you was how we can get a psionics night vision camera uh, to display on a GPS map series screen. And this actually will work for a few things. Um, and I'll explain a little bit about how you can do it later. But if you haven't seen these already, these are the Psionics Aurora. This is the sport version. And this is a night vision camera that uses low level light CMOS sensors. So as opposed to thermal um, or you know, forward looking infrared flare that produce thermal cameras, uh, this works on low level light. So what's really nice about this particular model is that it's a monocular system. It's stupidly easy to use. You can see on the side here, you just have uh, your different off, off, obviously, still camera, video camera, cycling through your gallery, and then some settings. And it all is crazy easy to use, obviously, some up and down. On the ring, you'll see you can rotate the lens display from day mode to twilight mode to night mode. And this changes a few of the settings in the background. Um, there's also a zoom function on the other side. So one of the cool things about this device uh, is that it's price. This is about a thousand dollars. There's a, a slightly more expensive version that has built-in GPS, but we find for most marine applications this is the the one to go for. It has a small just um, tripod-style screw-on um, connector on the bottom, so you can mount it to a range of different mounts. It has an SD card inside as well as a rechargeable lithium battery. And there's a little micro USB port on the side here for charging and data. There's a little uh, focus wheel on the side too. This is waterproof. It doesn't float though, but it is waterproof. So it's it's great for having out on a boat. So you can use it when you're mooring in dark weather. Dark weather. <laughs> if it's dark outside, um, etc. It's exceptionally good with uh, moonlight or starlight. So not pitch black. Uh, it doesn't actually work in pitch black. You do need some light for amplification. Um, but even on your vessel, you might have small floodlights or even a torch. Even a phone, for example, can create enough light for this to be able to magnify. Now, I'm doing this in daytime, and I will do something similar later on in nighttime to give you an idea what it looks like. But So that's pretty cool. Now, it has a Wi-Fi mode. And in the Wi-Fi, it can stream to a phone or a tablet using an app. And there's a whole bunch of cool things you can do there too. Uh, and you'll see here, what I'll do is I'll just face this camera outside, looking out of the window. And you'll see here, I have a little tablet. And I can see the, um, the camera's display coming through the tablet. So that's pretty cool, which means if on most boats, that's generally all you need. You can grab yourself a little cheap tablet as long as it's got Wi-Fi and it's relatively new. Keep that in your boat and then you can mount your psionics, um, you know, on a little grab rail mount or a little ram bracket, etc. And you have yourself quite cost effective night vision. Now, I don't want to take any thunder away from thermal imaging or FLIR cameras. We obviously sell them too. And it's a big part of our business, but... Uh, thermal cameras are, are still exceptional for picking up on heat signatures. So things in the water uh, are going to be a really, really important thing to be able to pick up. And thermal cameras will do that better. And of course, the more expensive thermal cameras can see quite extensively far with their thermal imaging. And on larger dual payload thermal cameras, you actually have this low level light technology built in. Anyway. Let's get to the crux of it. What we have in front of us is a GPS map um, 8416. This particular unit has a HDMI in and HDMI out. And what I've plugged into the HDMI in, I, you can't probably see it too easily, is basically a mirror casting dongle. And with that mirror cast, if I go to my AV gauges pages and then click on video, you can see it's picking up... Um, it's actually picking up the streaming from the tablet here. So, of course, you can grab your tablet and use it to show all sorts of other things. We could bring up Facebook, for example. Yeah, it's all pretty cool there. 
but um, or anything else you particularly want. But we're looking at the psionics in this case, so I can bring it back up here. And you can see as I move the camera around, you can see it displaying. So that's, uh, that's COVID moose looking unshaven. It's very cold in here too. <laughs> Obviously, there's a little bit of a lag over the Wi-Fi network. I want to come out at night time so I can show you what all those trees look like, etc. So what we can do though is if we go home and we go to combos and we create a new combo. So let's go uh, settings, sorry, combos, menu, add combo. Let's have, let's have three screens. And this is say I'm navigating at night time. On the large screen, I want to have my chart, my navigation chart. On the top left, I want to have, I just realized I've, I've got this in normal mode, not simulator mode, but anyway, we're going to go our engine data. So we're going to go gauges, vessel gauges. And down here, we're going to have video HDMI main helm done. And there you go. So now you can have your thermal camera, or sorry, I shouldn't say, your night vision camera down here. And a few other screens too. And if I move that around, you'll see it appearing. So we did some cost analysis. I'll put this up here so you can see me speaking. Um, we did some cost analysis. The the camera, let's say, is a thousand bucks. You can get yourself a cheap tablet for oh, you can pick one up secondhand for like fifty bucks if you really wanted to. And one of these little dongles. Now it's highly advisable you buy the the better of the dongles. They're about a hundred dollars. So you will also need a mini USB to full-size USB um, female male connector. So they're like 10 bucks off eBay. And then you have all the components you need to plug this into any of the 8400 series. I'd also recommend like a really nice RAM bracket or something to mount the, the Psyonix camera to. Um, it's really cold in here, so I'm putting my hoodie back up. <laughs> so he looks terrible. I Maybe if I put the light in front of me. Oh, wow, that's not a better look. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys while we're in this sort of lockdown, and I look terrible. Um, <laughs> that there are options out there if you want to have night vision in some capability on your unit or on your boat, you can do it without spending, um, you know, five thousand dollars plus. So. For more information on this, the Psyonix camera, you can see I've got my new little camera mount. Uh, hit us up on the messages. You can obviously message below, or you can send an email to us at Moose Marine, or you can uh, give us a call at 0411 816 660. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you're all staying safe out there. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.